a gentleman and a delight. His name is Bob Odenkirk, and he's going to come out here and blow you away. So there, here he is. Bob, come on out. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the show this evening. I know I look like a typical uh, middle class, maybe an accountant or a lawyer, but in effect, actually, I am a modern-day hillbilly. Uh, we're very high-tech now. Things have changed. And Sorry, just one second. Uh, remember to uh, call Jethro. Pick your feet tomorrow at uh, 2.15 and check on that feud. Okay, um, <laughs> I actually uh, come from a large family, uh, raised Catholic, which means I'm an atheist now. And <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Um, but I do come from a large family, and we had a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I think my dad looked at kids as kind of additions to his toolkit, you know? 27 years ago, he walked out on the front porch and said, Well, <clears throat> I could mow that lawn, but it's just going to grow back again. Or I could go back to bed and gamble some sperm and make a little lawn mowing machine that'll do it for the next 27 years. <laughs> and so he had all of us, but we had a lot of fun, sir, <laughs> and a lot of funny stories. And really, that's where I get my humor from. And I'm just going to chew some gum, okay, because it's a little dry up here. But I'd like to share some of those stories from my childhood with you now, if you don't mind. Uh, get some idea of sort of where I get my humor from and, uh, you know, what's happening uh, with me. Uh, one time, uh, okay, this is a very funny one. <laughs> my, friend, uh, my friend Mort had this camera. I think he'd inherited it, I don't know. And he was taking pictures of everything. And I said, hey, Mort. Uh, get a picture of me, but make sure you get my best side. And uh, then he made a joke. Listen to what he said. He said, oh, why do you want a picture of the back of your head? <laughs> I just remember, we were little kids at the time, so it was very funny to us. I'll share another one with you. Maybe you'll uh, some feeling for what I'm talking about here. <laughs> okay, okay, I think you're going to like this one, all right? Uh, I came home and my friend Mort was watching TV, you know, and I said, hey, Mort, what are you watching? He goes, well, it's an old mystery movie. The best part's coming right up. And listen to what I said. I said, oh, yeah? And is that the murder? And he made a joke. He goes, no, it's a commercial. I'm starved. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I had a blue car, and he had a red, lime green, like... <laughs> you could never tell what color it was. And I got out of the car, and I go, so what do we do now? And he goes, we exchange names and numbers. <laughs> and so I said, oh, no, and I gotta be you, and you gotta be me. <laughs> you got a necklace with that one. <laughs> He had this camera, you know? I was snapping pictures of everybody. Snap happy! <laughs> Take my picture! Did I already tell that one? Thank you for indulging me. You can't applaud. is uh, not a growth. Um, 
ladies and gentlemen, I have been preparing a historic one-man show uh, to teach the kids about, you know, some of the popular figures in American history. And my first show is a tribute to the 16th president of the United States, Abraham Q. Lincoln. Now, uh, before you fall asleep from boredom, just thinking about that, <laughs> let me tell you that it's a little different perspective on old Abe's life. See, unlike most one-man tributes that are based on thorough research of obscure text and only serve to make the audience feel stupid, confused, and angry, my one-man show is based on the common knowledge we all have of Abe's life. It uh, depicts what I think Lincoln might have thought and said. Most of my research was done from reading the backs of promotional cups at family restaurants. <laughs> and my show is called Abe Lincoln in my own words. I'd like to show some of you now. <clears throat> By the way, say goodbye to me for a few minutes. <laughs> I hope you're a Republican. <laughs> oh, I've been dead a long time. I was born in a log cabin made of logs. As a boy, they nicknamed me Rail Splitter because I could split rails with my head. Once I walked a long way to return a book. A book I'd found. Sixteenth <laughs> president of the United States. Oh, lucky day! Confound this civil war. It's almost like the country's being torn into two. <laughs> you know, what children need is a fun toy to play with. Something they can build with. I I've got it! Little logs! <laughs> Quickly, Mary, hand me that mirror and a penny. It's true, I've lost weight. <laughs> What's that you say? My personal secretary is named Kennedy? What a coincidence. Children, gather round. I've written a poem. Would you like to hear it? Lincoln, Lincoln, I've been thinking. What the heck have you been drinking? Is it water? Is it wine? Oh, my God, it's turpentine.